Hello viewers, uh, this lecture is about barcodes. Uh, buying things at a grocery store has never been easier or quicker than to barcode technology. Uh, you have seen the black and white zebra stripes uh, on everything from cornflake packets to library books and the laser wands that are used to read them. But have you ever stopped to think how they work? So let's discuss about it. Uh, barcodes can be used for all kinds of inventory uh, stock taking work but they are probably uh, most familiar to us as identification codes printed on grocery store products. Let's say if you run a busy store you need to keep track of uh, all the things you sell so you can make sure the ones you, you, your customer wants uh, to buy are always in the stock. The simplest way of doing that is to walk around the shelves looking for empty spaces and simply refilling where you need to. Alternatively, you could write down what uh, people buy at the checkout, compile a list of all the purchases and then simply use uh, that to record your stock. That's fine for a small shop, but what if you are uh, running a giant branch of Imtiaz store with thousands of items on sale? There are many other difficulties of running shops smoothly. If you mark all your items with their prices and you need to change the price before you sell the goods, you have to uh, reprice everything. And what about shoplifting? You cannot avoid it. So if you see a lot of uh, 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 anything missing from the shelves, uh, can you really be certain you have sold them all? Uh, how do you know if some uh, something has been stolen? Using barcode technology in stores can help to solve all these problems. Uh, it lets you keep a centralized record on a computer system that tracks products, prices and stock levels. You can change prices as often as you like without having to put new price tags on all your bottles and boxes in the shop. You can instantly see when stock levels of certain items are running low so that you could reorder. Because barcode technology is so accurate, you can reasonably confident that any item that are missing uh, have probably been stolen. A barcode based stock system uh, like this has uh, three main parts. First, uh, there is a central computer running a database that keeps a tally of all the products you are selling, who makes it, what each uh, one cost and how many you have in stock. Second, there are barcodes printed on all the products. Finally, uh, there is one or more checkout scanners that can read the barcode. So how barcode represent numbers? A barcode is a, a really simple idea give every item that you want to classify its own unique number and then simply print the number on the item so an electronic scanning device can read it. We could simply print the number itself but the trouble with decimal numbers is that they are easy to confuse. Uh, a misprinted 8 could look like a 3 uh, or to a computer while 6 is identical to 9 uh, if you turn it upside down which could cause all sorts of chaos at the checkout if you scan your conflicts the wrong way up. What we really need is a completely reliable way of printing numbers so that they can be read very accurately at high speeds. Uh, that's the problem that barcodes solve easily. If you look at a barcode you probably can't make uh, head or tail of it. You don't uh, know where one number ends and another number begins but it's really simple. Each digit in the barcode uh, product number is given the same amount of horizontal space. Uh, exactly seven units if you could observe over here. Then to represent any of the number from 0 through 9 from 0 through 9 uh, we simply color these seven units with different patterns of black and white stripes. Thus the number one is represented by coloring in two 
white stripes, two black stripes, two white stripes, and one black stripe. While the number two is represented by two white stripes, one black stripe, uh, two white stripes, and two black stripes. You have probably noticed that barcode can be quite long, and that's because they have to represent three different types of information. The first part of the barcode tells you the country where it is issued. Uh, the next part reveals the manufacturer of the product. The final part of the barcode identifies product itself. Different types uh, of same uh, basic product, for example, four packs of Coca-Cola bottles uh, and six packs of Coca-Cola uh, cans have totally different barcodes. So let's revise. Uh, Although they appear simple, there is actually far more going on under the surface for a barcode. A barcode is made up of 95 evenly spaced columns uh, which uh, reflect either a lot of light, the white spaces or virtually none, the familiar black lines. Uh, computers only understand ones and zeros, the columns that reflect with uh, virtually no light, they are read as one, whereas the columns that reflect lots of light are considered as zero. The 95 numbers are then grouped into 15 different sections. 12 of these sections are used to produce the long code that is visible at the bottom of the barcode. Uh, the remaining three sections are then used as guards here. Uh, with the, this information, we can then break down the number uh, numbers at the bottom of the barcode. The first digit tells us what type of barcode it is. Different digits correspond to what type of uh, industry the barcode is from. For example, zero is a standard barcode, whereas five uh, often refers to the products uh, that are from pharmaceutical industry. The next uh, five digits are manufacturer's unique code. The second set of five digits uh, is uh, product's identity code. Finally, the last digit on the right-hand side is called the check digit check character which is a form of error checking so uh, a barcode is a series of dark and light parallel lines of varying thickness uh, the number uh, 0 to 9 are each represented by a unique series of lines various barcode methods for representing these digits exist uh, each digit is made up of two dark lines and two uh, light lines barcodes can hold up to 30 digits. So let's discuss uh, what happens when the barcode is scanned. Apparently barcode is read by a red laser or LED. Light is reflected back, dark areas reflected little or none. Uh, whereas reflected light is read by sensors. A pattern is generated which is converted into the uh, digital data. That is the short of it. So let's discuss in length. Uh, first about barcode reader. A barcode reader is uh, actually the machine which we use to scan the barcodes. Barcode reader or price scanner or point of sale are the same electronic hand clutched or stagnant input machines. They are usable for scanning and reading data held in the barcode. It uh, contains a scanner, a decoder, whether built-in or external and a cable operated to connect the device with the computer. Since a barcode reader solely captives and interprets the, uh, uh, the direction through the number of characters, the input uh, moves to computer where a computer program can prove out the data. Uh, the barcode uh, reader interfaces with the computer via a port, a USB port, uh, or something similar. Sometimes they are wireless. So uh, basically there are several categories uh, uh, of the barcodes. First uh, one are pen wands. Uh, secondly they are uh, slot readers. And thirdly familiar uh, charge couple devices. So the most uh, simple barcode reader is pen wand. Uh, it is... Uh, uh, famous for its lower cost and uh, constancy. Since it does not consist of any moving uh, partition, it has to grasp on uh, certain corners and then run over the barcode 
at a definite speed. Whereas uh, slot scanners, you might have used these at the schools for attendance marking, they are motionless. The user has to clasp the object or the card with hand over the slot. We generally use it to read barcodes on IDs like school IDs. Uh, with eliminating the chances of error, the CCD scanner uh, is better in readability range. We can often observe its use in retail businesses or schools. Then we have got uh, uh, CCD one which is quite familiar and you might have seen it. It uh, uh, throws a light on the barcode and reads it back. So whether handheld uh, uh, easily scans the barcodes up to 24 inches from up to 24 inches difference or the, or the distance. Uh, how does barcode reader work? A barcode is indeed uh, an intelligent uh, machine and uh, a concept that gives every object its uh, individual uh, number which is unique and then set the number on the product so that an electrical device can scan it. It has solved the problem we face if we could simply put the number on the product. As we know the decimal numbers are easily confusing like an oversighted 8 can look like 3 and a 6 appears 9 when you turn it another way to the device. A barcode fulfills the demand of accurately high speed readable printing and numbers. So barcodes have uh, three operative parts. They are uh, illumination process, uh, the sensor and the, and the decoder. Barcode the reader starts its processing with the red light by flashing the code. Then the sensor identifies the flash light from the illumination system and produces an analog uh, sign or the signal with the different voltage that refers to the intensities or the lack of intensities of the contemplation. With the sensor, the analog signal is converted to a digital signal uh, which has sent to the, uh, to the decoder. The decoder translates the digital signal, completes the required task to confirm and approve if the barcode is uh, understood. Uh, and then converts the signal into ASCII tests. After formation, uh, the, described, uh, the transcribed text delivers it to computer the reader is associated to. Barcode readers scan and transcribe the barcodes from the image you provide into alphabetic digits sometimes. Depending on the model of the barcode reader, the information is sent to the attached computer via a wired or wireless connection. This scanned digits represent individual items and their further information like the price, how many of the items in the storage, description of the object and sometimes a preferable uh, picture. Uh, barcode readers uh, are a great contribution to the businesses to keep uh, the tracked index in and out of the store, confirm the safety of supply from stolen by employees or any other visitors. It has reduced the chances of human error. A barcode uh, reading is quick, dependable, and takes apparently less time than manual index data. For fast and secure business working environment, barcode reader is simply the imperative. So now let's discuss seven things uh, you don't know about barcodes and they are particularly very interesting. Barcodes are uh, incredible and there are few things attached to them. So number one is uh, chewing gum was the first item scanned with this barcode. In the summer of 1974, a supermarket in Ohio, America made history by trying out scanning unique product codes in their automated checkout systems. What was the first ever product to be scanned and bring about the revolution of grocery shopping? A 10-pack of Ringley's Juicy Fruit Gum. Number two is the first use of the barcode was uh, to label railroad, uh, rail uh, road cars, bogies that we also call. 
uh, at the Pennsylvania Railroad an undergraduate at MIT noticed the need of automatic identification of railroad cards so he does it he, he developed the system called uh, called car track uh, it used uh, blue and red reflective stripes that were attached to the side of the cars so that they could be uh, scanned number 3 the original barcode design looked like a bullseye you know what bullseye is it's a target that we aim at when we shoot at so before the recognizable white uh, and black lines we know of today early barcodes resemble the bullseye number 4 qr codes can be used for gravestones qr codes are embedded in everything these days uh, qr codes uh, we will discuss in next uh, lecture they are the uh, advanced form of these barcodes now uh, but did you know that they can also be used on gravestones since 2010 smartphones have been able to read qr codes making them popular in many industries qr codes can now be found on gravestones linking graveyard visitors to online tribute to the dead that is actually happening in us number 5 they are over 10 10000 billion unique codes linear barcode labels are made up of 12 digits no, uh, first number is product type next five numbers are manufacturer codes then next five numbers are product codes and final uh number is actually a check code the check digit this combination of possible numbers allows for uh, there to be billions and billions of possibilities and to be exact these are 10000 billion unique codes uh, number 6 as i discussed about uh, a bee tracking honey bee tracking scientists have uh, been attaching this tiny qr codes onto the back of bees in order to track their individual behavior this system is called b tag b double e t a g and allows cameras to automatically monitor hundreds of bees all day and all night exposing their interactions they wanted to know when worker bees jump in and collect food uh, when a uh, uh, when someone dies other bee dies and crucially learn more about uh, any abnormal bee behavior that can result when population are threatened by pesticide use or something else and the last one is homeless people use barcodes for cashless payments uh recently uh, in oxford under a uh, under a study uh oxford university backed initiative a new social innovation project called greater change have uh, uh, give, uh, given homeless people a qr code that uh, uh, passer by could scan using their smartphones and make online payments to that person means that person does not have their own cards or anything so anyone can scan that code uh, so that uh, people would know government would know that who was purchased with it the idea was to encourage donations in an ever increasing cashless society the donations go into an account which is managed by a case worker and goes towards the agree targets such as saving for rental deposits or um, a new government document so there we have it seven interesting things you now know about barcodes so if there is anything that you want to ask further please ask that in uh, your respective whatsapp groups or in a post under this video until qr code uh, lecture bye